Hello everybody and welcome to week 28. I'm going to quickly go over what we're going to be doing this week and what you can expect. So, um, like I said, this week we're going to spend completely focused on the model train assembly. So if you don't have any of those parts completed, one of those nine, any of those nine parts completed, you are going to need to get that done before you can complete the assembly itself. The assembly will take a little bit of time just due to the fact that we've got to assemble it and then explode it, which means it's like assembling it and then like kind of taking it apart halfway, but taking it apart in a wholly, a whole different part of the Onshape software. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. But what I want to go over is what we have on here. So the first thing is the model train assembly file. If you click on this, this is going to give you the parts, the quantities, and it's going to show you where they get attached, first and foremost. And then I've got three links for you. These three links you're going to need to visit. If you ask me how to create a mate and you didn't visit this link, that is where I'm going to first send you because I don't have time to go over everything individually for students. And if I spend time going over it in class, it will take all of class to go over those three links and you'll lose precious time to work in class. Now this just takes you to a generic mates information page. But if you look over here on the left hand side, it shows you the different mates. And if you click on them, it tells you more about them. You do have to click on desktop version, but here you go. It shows you step by step how to create that mate. It talks about different things like check the offset to supply a value for the distance by applying an offset should be viewed as moving an, ent an entire coordinate system. The offset is relative to the mate connector. There you go. It just talks about it. it says, and then this is the fasten mate. So it mates two entities and removes all degrees of freedom between them. Begin by mate, creating mate connectors on each entity or use the implicit mate connectors visible upon hovering. So that basically says that you can create the connectors or you can just hover over it and choose the ones that are like pre-selected. But it goes over that for all the different types of mates. So please check that out. I do not specifically tell you which mate you should use. You are going to need to figure that out. Okay. Next one is creating exploded views and creating uh, callouts using like balloons. This is how you you're going to create the exploded view that I was talking about. And I am going to show you um, on either Thursday or Friday, but keep that in mind that it is there and you need to check it out. So it goes over it, um, how to even do it. So it says, click this symbol to open the exploded views panel. Bam, there it is. Click add exploded view at the top and it walks you through. So it's basically creating, um, and let me see if I have it. I have mine open. Um, it takes your assembly and explodes it apart so you can see all the different components and where they connect. And we're going to do that. I have created one. So let me go to my drawing. I will show you what that looks like. And I've um, submitted a picture or provided a picture for you on your assignment once we get to that point. But here, those are the balloons I was talking about, the callouts that label each individual piece. Here, you can see the explosion. They're all, they have lines directing your eye to where the piece goes. I have a, um, can't remember the name of this table right now, but I have one of those and you'll be putting one of those in. So this is what I expect of what you're going to be turning in by the end of this. So I have that link that goes over that as well. Call outs that goes over how to create my little balloons and bubbles and how to label. And then finally, here is the train assembly document itself. It's the submission, um, the train model train submission requirement. So click on this, open it up. You can see what I'm asking of you for this assignment. So it says directions. You will create an assembly file one of the model train as well as an exploded drawing two showing all different parts of the model. The assembly should look like the photo below when you finish. I've included on Schoology links to an on shape mate website in case you've forgotten what mate what the different mates are or how to use them. Please check out this tool before you start the assembly. Two, once you've finished the assembly, check the created uh, creating exploded views link to help you create your own exploded model train for the drawing. Your exploded assembly file should be similar to the one below, but spacing may differ. You will need to create a bill of materials. That was the table. Bill of materials table. Uh, similar to what the table is on the model train assembly file. 
which was bam this one it has train parts list it's basically the bill of materials um below will be multiple pictures of your uh below will be multiple pictures for you to model after so here's my exploded here it is in the um, border and title block. Your drawing file should look like the photo above when you're finished. You will be creating a bill of materials table, columns for each part, and an exploded assembly. So you'll be turning in two things, an assembly file and an exploded drawing file. This will be your assembly file that you'll be turning in screenshot wise. And then this will be your, um, what was the second one? Exploded drawing file. All right. So obviously I know we're gonna have questions, but I would like you to try to work on this on your own the first couple days and then the second couple days I will help you and answer any questions you have. But otherwise, get started and I will see you guys in class.